Ah, hello time travelers, and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to this channel and enjoy learning about history, not only from the US, but also from around the world, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today, we're gonna start out in 1773, when Polish Sejum, or legislature ratified the treaty that led to the first partition of Poland by Russia, Persia, and Austria. 1791 is when opera, the opera The Magic Flute by Wolfgang Amandus Mozart premiered in Vienna. 1870 is when a French physicist, Jean Pernin, who received the Nobel Prize for Phys Physics in 1926 for his studies of the Brawin motion of minute particles, was born. 1895 brought us French troops occupying Anantavaro, Madagascar, after the refusal of Renovaroni, the Prime Minister, to submit to French uh, Sun Sunantini. 1924 is when American novelist, short story writer, and play writer Truman Captote, who was perhaps best known for the novel In Cold Blood that was published in 1965, was born. Three years later, in 1927, American uh, baseball player Babe Ruth became the first player to hit 60-60 home runs in a single season. His record stood until Roger Martins hit 61 in 1961. Uh, the notorious Munich Agreement in which Britain's Neville Chamberlain encouraged Britain and France to approach Adolf Hitler's demands in the hopes of pre preventing World War II was reached on this day in 1938. Um, in 1949, the Berlin Airlift officially ended after the Western Allied Powers delivered 2 million 323,739, or I'm sorry, 38 tons of food, fuel, machinery, and other supplies to West Berlin, which had been cut off from the West during the Soviet blockade in Berlin. Uh, in 1953, Earl Warren was appointed 14th Chief Justice in the U.S. Supreme Court by President Dwight D. Eisenhower. He served from 1953 to 1969. The following year, in 1954, the USS Natalius, the world's first nuclear-powered vessel, was commissioned by the U.S. Navy. Now, again, the following year, in 1955, American actor James Dean, who became a symbol of the confused, restless, and idealistic youth in the night of the 1950s, died in an automobile crash as he drove to a car rally in Salins, California. Ten years later, in 1965, 
in India, Indonesia, a group of army con conspectors known as the September 30th movement began an absorbative coup. By the following morning, they had kidnapped and murdered six army generals. The movement claimed that it had seized power to forestall a coup against President Shikano by Council of Generals. Five years after the turn of the century, in 2005, the Danish newspaper Julia Gillard's Posten printed satirical cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad provoking violence, violent protests by Muslim worldwide. And our final event happened in 20, 2009 to the stock of all concerned, or I'm sorry, to the shock of all concerned, the Penske Automotive Group ceases talks with car maker General Motors to acquire its Saturn unit. As a result, Saturn models, models will be discontinued and all 350 Saturn dealerships um, closed. And with that, we will return to 2024 and our current history. Now, let's head over to the animal kingdom, where rhinoceroses' horns are made up of keratin, the same type of protein that makes up your hair and your fingernails. Some species of rhinos have two horns, while others just have a single horn. Now let's head into the science lab where there are more bacteria, bacterial cells in a, your body than human cells. The average human has around 56% bacteria. This was discovered in a 2016 study and is far less than the earlier estimate of 90%. As bacteria are so light, however, by weight, each person is over 99.7% human. Thank God for that. And with that, if you enjoy learning history, not only from the US, but also from around the world, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. I'll see you all in the next one.